let's commission the Sunny Dry Power Core 1. After installing the Core 1, knock on the inverter lid to wake it up. Wait until the blue LED starts blinking. On your device, go to the Wi-Fi settings and look for a network that is SMA followed by the device serial number. Enter the WPA2 passcode located on this label as the Wi-Fi password and connect to that network. You can also locate the serial number on the back of the manual. Be sure to store the manual in a safe place for future reference. Open a browser and enter HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.12.3. If you see a security warning, click advanced, then proceed to the site. If you're logging in for the first time, you'll be prompted to create a password twice, once for the user and once for the installer. This is expected even if both roles aren't visible right away. Returning users can simply select their user group and log in. Start commissioning by selecting Installation Assistant from the menu. Here, you'll configure the inverter's network connection. Please use an Ethernet cord for a more stable and reliable connection. Please note that the Core 1's Wi-Fi functionality is intended solely for commissioning and should not be used for ongoing communication or system control. If Ethernet connects successfully, you'll see an IP address and a green OK status. Under Type of Communication, choose between Automatic or Manual IP configuration. Select Yes for Automatic. This is the default and most common. Select No to manually enter a static IP, subnet mask, gateway, and DNS server. Click Save and Next to proceed. Choose your time zone from the drop-down list. To sync time automatically, make sure the inverter is connected to the internet. To save yourself time with our service team, ensure you select Yes from this list. Click Save and Next. Select the correct grid standard for your region. Click Save and confirm the selected standard appears in the list. Set up Rapid Shutdown settings. By default, Rapid Shutdown is deactivated you can activate it after commissioning if required. Click Save and Next. This screen is for RS-485 setup, but it's rarely used. Only select an option if your system requires it. If none apply, just click Save and Continue. If you plan to add an energy meter to the system, a Data Manager M is required. You'll be able to configure the energy meter during commissioning or later through the Data Manager interface. Click Save and Next. Configure active and reactive power settings. Most systems won't require changes here. If you're unsure, reach out to our service team through the online service center. Click Next to review reactive power mode options and click Next again to move on to tab eight. In this menu, you can configure the multifunction relay. Unless equipment is wired to the multifunction relay port on the comms board, no action will occur. If nothing is connected, leave this set to Fault Indication and move on. Set up String Failure Detection. This feature helps identify underperforming strings by comparing inputs with similar conditions, like tilt, shading, or module type. It's off by default, click On to begin. Assign each input to a group, enter the number of strings, then choose a sensitivity either a preset or special setting to define tolerance and time. This ensures you'll be alerted if a string's performance drops unexpectedly. Click Save and Next. Review the final summary screen. Double check your settings. If needed, export a parameter list for your records. Once everything looks correct, click Next. Commissioning is now complete for the Sony TriPower Core 1 inverter. To learn more and to find more resources on the Sunny Tri Power Core 1, visit sma-america.com.